Hey everyone, welcome to another video, and today we're going to be hiking the Hill Canyon Trail to the Western Plateau in Camarillo, California. Including the trail to Western Plateau, this hike is a little bit over 2 miles in total and only has a few hundred feet of elevation change. It starts with a short bridge and continues to follow a creek until reaching the Western Plateau Trail, also known as Edison Trail. The entire area near the beginning is surrounded by mountains and is in a lower elevation area filled with eucalyptus trees and many other kinds of trees. Aside from the area around the beginning, this hike has little to no shade and is best done on a cool morning or a cool day. So we're here at about uh, 7.50 in the morning. It's pretty cold and windy right now. Um, and after coming over this bridge, the trail starts. There's some information on the main sign at the beginning of the trail, and it includes a map of the entire park and the trails and some of the common snakes that you can see in the area, as well as frogs and toads. And it also includes some warnings about seeing mountain lions, as well as insects and ticks that are in the area. And some of the frogs that can be found include California tree frogs, California red-legged frog, bullfrogs, and western toads. Also, there are some creeks and water, bodies of water on this trail, and no swimming or wading are allowed. One of the various types of eucalyptus trees found here is the blue gum eucalyptus, which is shown here. So the whole area at the start of the trail is filled with some beautiful eucalyptus trees, but you can see some fire damage from the hill fire that passed through this area in 2018, which left behind some charred wood and leaves. So this whole area is in a sort of valley, so there are mountains surrounding the park at all sides, and some of them are covered in brush, and some of them have some nice rock formations like you can see here. And we've passed out of the main eucalyptus grove at the start of the trail, and as we continue along this part, it's mostly gonna be a clearing with the occasional eucalyptus tree still scattered along the side. On the scattered eucalyptus trees near the sides of the trail, some of the fire damage from the 2018 fires was even more apparent than in the eucalyptus grove. So you can see most of the hillsides surrounding here have a small amount of brush but they're mainly rocky and this particular one is full of what looks like hundreds of ground squirrel holes. So since this is a nature preserve, it's it's completely silent here, um, except for the occasional bird and the sound of water in the distance, but you're not going to get any noise from cars or airplanes or anything like that.
As I said, the entire trail follows a small creek that is normally filled with water year-round and is surrounded by groves of sycamore trees and bamboo. The creek is mostly visible from the trail, but at some points the bamboo was so thick that the water was not visible from the main part of the trail. For the majority of the trail, it's completely flat until you reach the Western Plateau Trail or the Edison Trail and it begins gaining elevation. So this is in total a 3.5 mile hike and so far I'd say we've been walking for about 30 minutes. It's been fairly easy. Mostly flat trails. It's a little bit rocky and a little and at some points it's slightly uphill, but other than that it's mostly flat. And the trail is entirely surrounded by mountains. Um, there's a creek on the left side and there are lots of eucalyptus trees. Aside from the eucalyptus trees, you can also see a few coastal live oak trees and other types of oak trees. So here we're going to be turning right for the Western Plateau Trail. So here, while you're coming up the Western Plateau Trail, it is quite rocky and it gets a lot more difficult because this is mostly straight uphill. The majority of the elevation change or specifically gain on this hike happens during the Western Plateau Trail and while you're going uphill, you're able to get some nice views of the surrounding mountains and tree-filled valleys. The side of the trail at this point is also covered in prickly pear cacti, which were blooming and had pink flowers at the time I was there in October. So this is where we're going to be stopping for today. This is the end of Western Plateau Trail. There's a nice viewpoint with a bench here and you get a nice view of the mountains surrounding and you can see slightly into the Newberry Park Thousand Oaks area over that mountain ridge. But this is where we're going to be stopping for today. The remainder of the hike after reaching the Western Plateau could be considered easy or moderate because it is mostly downhill or flat and the trail is only moderately rocky.
It only took about 30 to 45 minutes to return to the shaded eucalyptus grove area after finishing the western plateau, so the way down is definitely much faster than the way up. Back in the grove you can observe some new blue gum eucalyptus seedlings coming up from the bases of the older trees that were damaged in the fire but did survive. And again, there's also a great view of the creek below from the bridge on your way back or your way in. And that's the end of this hike for now. Thanks for watching and I'll be back soon for more videos.